those that are watching these markets, you know, I've, you know, I, I spend a lot of time doing digging, due diligence, researching the population increase, the the infrastructure, the bond spending, those other elements. So there's a overall, you know, tide that is going to be raising the future of those cities. Now, how do you invest into those cities? How do you get opportunity in there? That's going to really kind of depend on, you know, your individual criteria. I believe, you know, you're going to get an overall net benefit, almost anything that you do investing into those markets. But you have to also use a kind of a, a, a caveat with that is that depends on you kind of getting a good deal and then how long you can hold it. So some of these still have some maturation. Some of that, those projects need to come online before you actually realize that uptick in those, those values. So if you just go buy something just to buy it and say, hey, Jake said it's gonna be a good market and it's gonna go up, what if you lose money in, in the interim of that? What if it takes, you know, instead of three years, it takes five or takes seven or something like that? Uh, you know, those are the things that you need to help to decipher and determine for you and your investment criteria. But I am very bullish on each of those markets where I think you, as long as you're savvy, you're doing your due diligence, you're coming in there and you buy something that's relatively you know, a, a decent deal long term is you're going to win. Like you're going to win over the next decade. If it pays its bills, rents, you know, get covered your investment, you're going to see, and you're going to look back in 10 years and be like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have bought more of everything in those markets, single family person, a commercial, a developer, a builder, you know, anything like that. I think all of those markets, it's, it's going to be, um, uh, you know, difficult to not win as long as you don't, you know, shoot yourself in the face uh, in, in the, the short term. I think one of the other things to, to note is as far as from these cities, one of the things that I personally like is if they're major sports teams there. So it has something to do with a major sports team helps kind of raise the national attention on those cities. Um, what I've seen is in other markets that I've invested into that have all the, the major sports teams or uh, some of those sports teams, when they're more successful, like going to the playoffs or you know the World Series or the Super Bowl or whatever it is, uh, there creates this kind of um, positive momentum for the city overall, that people maybe that wouldn't consider Milwaukee now all of a sudden are considering Milwaukee because the box just won, you know? And the same thing is, and that's where I also say why Boise is number three on my list is they don't really have a sports team there. It is Boise state is, you know, uh, you know, true blue, you know, people are hardcore into the football of Boise state, but other than the, the Boise state Broncos, there isn't anything. And I think that's what kind of holds them back from being a, a city that, and really kind of a state as getting into the, the norm. I was actually, it's interesting. I was having a conversation with our hotel group, um, the parent, companies out of Paris, but uh, the design group is out of London. And so we had a meeting in LA, we were going through talking to them and, and they're like, you mentioned of this city, Boise, where is it? I've never heard of it. You know, you're like, it's in Idaho. And they're like, yeah, again, never heard of it. What is it? You know, they're like LA, New York, Denver, like Dallas. Uh, and, and so that is going to be a challenge to get institutional capital in these markets. So Salt Lake is now starting to see that. You're starting to see that outside institutional capital coming into those markets. You're seeing the Xtels, you're seeing USAA, you're seeing big institutional capital now coming into those markets and putting investment dollars into there. And that's what I think is really going to take this and supercharge those markets into the future. Uh, and that's what I also like really, uh, you know, quite a bit about San Antonio is you have all this institutional capital that's focusing on Texas and very, very much on Austin, but it's very difficult to get a deal or a good deal in Austin. There's 20 groups, multi-billion dollar groups going after deals in Austin. And so it's 60 minutes away. And I think it becomes this, this down market opportunity for capital to find a home and really get turbocharged that over the next, uh, like I said, five, 10 years. 
So each one of those, again, uh, San Antonio has a sports team, the Spurs, uh, as of late, they haven't been doing as well. Salt Lake doing better, made the playoffs, the Utah Jazz, Boise, uh, Boise has just the, the, the Broncos and actually been struggling on the, on the college footprint. So, uh, again, a little bit lower, but there's some, some opportunity in that market to, to do some real estate and really impact the future.